In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to use the insert shapes options of Microsoft Word. This is your calculating properties of shapes worksheet that you'll be you're being asked to um, you're being asked to work on. I'm going to scroll down here to one of the uh, problems. Here it says complete the sketch of the rectangle. You must have an area of 2.25 inches squared. Prove the geometry by dimensioning the sketch and showing the area calculation. Show only those dimensions needed for the area calculation. Each grid unit is 0.25 inches. I'm not going to solve this for you. I'm simply going to walk you through how you would do this work using Word. Um, I think this is the easiest way to do this worksheet by just drawing onto the actual drawing area itself. So first of all, we need to complete the sketch. Before you complete the sketch, you would need to figure out uh, what, how long this line was based on the units and then look at the area and then you're going to draw this line accordingly and you need to figure out how you're going to find the area of that rectangle what those values should be that's work that you're going to do I'm simply showing you how to draw on the paper so when you're in Word if you want to extend a line you come up here to the insert tab and you select shapes and here are all kinds of different shapes you can insert onto your drawing we're going to use the line tool now I haven't figured out how to continue to draw the line um, so what I'm <laughs> and maybe there's a way and maybe you can figure it out but typically what you have to do is you start at the end point where you want it to go you click the you click the point and then you extend the line to where you want it to end so let's say that I want it to end right here so I'll click that line and you can see that it draws it now up here it gives us it, it puts on the ribbon the toolbar so if I click that line again I can now draw a second line, same way. I want to line this up. And again, I have to click the line again. I don't think it would let me continue to draw lines. Yeah, you see how the cursor is different? The cursor is different than it was before. So you click the line each time you want to draw a single line. And there's my rectangle. Now, I can see that that line, this line is a lot thicker than this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these lines individually, hit the escape key should let me select those lines there we go hit the control key to select mo stop it not letting me select those lines that's not cool oh there we go no all right well I want to select these lines individually right click format the shape and we can make that line thicker uh, if we look at the the line thickness which is here here's the weight of the line we can go ahead and type in two and you can see it makes that line thicker select the line just the line right click format shape and change it to two and that way you have a thicker line and it, it lines up more with your let's see what the set auto shapes does set auto shapes default didn't do anything. All right. Right click. Make sure you're just selecting the line. Format auto shape and change it to two. It's not a big deal. And there is my box. Now, it also says that it wants you to um, dimension the sketch. Okay. Dimensioning the sketch means you're going to be putting dimension lines on here with numbers. Here's how you do it. Same way you did, you did before. We're going to do an insert shape. We'll select the line tool, but now we're not going to touch the part. Remember, the line needs to be away from it. Okay, select the line. Come down here. It, you do not want that line touching the part. Okay, so there are my two dimension lines. Now I'm going to draw an arrow. That's the one right next to the line. And I'm going to draw it from here up. And now you want it to touch the line because these uh, these lines touch these leader lines are touched by the dimension line. And I'm going to do another one here. Insert arrow. We'll leave a little space there. Come down here and touch this line. There's my arrow. And then I can, I can make this longer or shorter. I think I made it too long. There we go. And now I'm going to put in here a text box. Insert text box. It's not letting me do it. Come on, draw a text box. Here we go. 
I'm going to draw a text box inside here. And I'm going to type in the distance. Let's say, and you would have to figure out how much that distance was. Let's say it's 2.25. I don't think it is. And then you need to put the unit, which is inches. So this would be an acceptable way for you to dimension your sketch. Okay? So this is how, let me just do that again. So I wanted to mention the length of this. So I'd come over to insert. Let me click out of this. Escape. There we go. Insert shape line. And I'd bring the lines down from the edge here. Select the line here. Bring it down from the edge here. Then I want to select the arrows. Leave some space in the middle. Make sure it touches that line. Uh, try to draw it straight like I didn't do there. Bring it across here like that. Touch that line. Boom. Okay. I'm going, to redo. I'm going to redo this one so you can just select it and delete it. Insert shape arrow. Line it up there. Bring it straight across. Boom. Insert text box. Draw text box right here. And type in your distance and say it's 5.5. It's not. Let's just say it was. And then don't forget your unit. You need to have the unit. Without the unit, it's meaningless. Okay? So that is how I want you to do the work. See here, you have to dimension it. So you dimension the height and the width and then do your calculation. You can also show your calculation here. Let's say you wanted to do the, the area calculation. Show the dimensions needed for the calculation and then do the calculation. You can just type that in here if you want to. So you can do a text box or you can just type right into it. I would prefer a text box. So you can insert a text box right in here and then show your calculation. If I were doing the area of this, 5.5. And you can use time, uh, an asterisk for times, or you can use an X if you want to, times 2.25 equals. And then you put your, and don't forget your units here. And then you would use your calculator. You come up with what that answer is, whatever the answer is, and then inches. And those are square inches, aren't they? So to show square inches on a computer, you would do this, inches with a little with a little carrot which is uh, shift six or if you want to you can use just a two and then you can use a format highlight the two and then use a superscript boom see that the superscript you can actually make your squares like that okay uh, if you have any questions let me know you should be okay to go so I would expect that you would fill out this worksheet using these principles and then upload this into your um, you upload it into the appropriate place in, in Unit 5, and uh, you're on your way. There you go.